So the possibility of the impossible requires that you and I should become a student of the word of God and attempt to discover, are we here, what have been promised. It's when we discover what have been promised that we can recover and begin to manifest the promise. Do I have a witness in the house? So I'm going to take you to one, one, one scripture that befits our expectation in this pre-convention meeting. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. I know that all of you know the scripture. Let me quickly read from, from verse 16. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end, the promise might be sure to all. To the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed. Not to that only which is of the law. But to that also which is of faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Can I say a word of prophecy to somebody? Get ready to become what you are not expecting from God. God said, I have made thee, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, he believed. What distinguished Abraham was that he had the statement, he believed the statement, and he became the statement. Even God, who quickened the dead, I don't know the things that you are concluded as dead in your life. But they are coming alive. Am I talking to the church? Even God. These guys, you should be more reliable for me this time. Eh? Let me go back to my Bible. That's why it's good to have a Bible. Verse what now? 17. Who quickeneth the day and calleth those things which be not as though they were. That definition of faith. He quickens the dead. What does it mean to quicken the dead? He reverses the judgment of death and turn it to life and quickeneth it. To begin, to begin to manifest his plan and his purpose. We will come to that. Verse 18. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be. Verse 19 everybody. And be not weak in faith be not weak in believing. What happened? He considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Verse 20. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Are you still there? About 21. And being fully persuaded. Oh my God. I feel like preaching it. Praise God. And being fully. He did say, I'm being persuaded. And being fully persuaded. That what he had promised. He was able also to perform. I 
am I, re am I reading to believers? Verse 22, read with me. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now, it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him. But for us also, to whom it shall be imputed. Are we here? I did so it shall be imputed. You better listen now. Because during the convention, I may not have time to bring any word. Let me preach my own now. If we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Verse 25. Who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. I said to someone here today. Get ready for the performance of the promises of God. You can give it as a title to my message. Get ready for the performance of the promises of God. God is not a man. God is God. God is committed to perform what he has promised. Sometimes we have a lot of situations that contend with our body, our soul, our wishes against the promises of God. But we have an example of a woman being that lived in this world whose name was Abraham. The Bible says he was a son born to a king who was a pagan. And the Bible said the, the senior brother died and then after the father died and he got married when he was 60 years old and there was no blessings of marriage coming over here and then people were telling him to do his wife wrong i think i've said that this before what does it mean to do the wife wrong your wife is not productive so go and marry another one go and marry another one that time there was no gospel there was no pastor there was no faith but god was his pastor and where was god pastoring god was pastoring his conscience he remembered when i married this woman she was innocent so i never had a woman in my life what could be wrong so the cause couldn't be my wife the cause could not be me he said no i've married and i've married i've told you in this house when you start marrying you start marrying but that's not your portion because if you cannot wait to, to push, to defend the word of God, the devil will begin to make experiments of your life. So what was the problem of Abraham? The problem of Abraham was the foundation, the unbroken foundation, that which he saw that Abraham was going to be used by God to give back to a generation that will move out of the paganism, a generation that we move out of the idolatry, a generation that we move out of, of the nonsense that was on the land, and the devil by witchcraft attacked the marriage. Sometimes, you need to look at God factor before you, you begin to blame yourselves. Are we here? Two of them believed in each other, they held on each other, they trust each other, and they begin to, to believe that if it pleases God that nothing is going to happen in their marriage, let it be. But they are not going to make another experiment. Come on over here. Now, this happened in the Old Testament. And Jesus came. And the Holy Ghost came. And the Holy Ghost brought the record of how Abraham, in his difficulties, resolved to believe God against the tradition. Is it possible to trust God? Is it possible to believe God when things appear impossible? Christianity must be tested. Are we here? I'm a Christian. It's very simple to say. But when it is tested, can you be proved? What have you passed through? 
The choir sings a song. What have you not done for me? What have you not done for me? Say that one again. Say it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, you went through jaws for me. Now, this is what happened. And this is how to believe God and to break the yoke of your impossibilities. Every time the word of God is spoken and is received by us, hope will be born. Did you understand what I mean? The word of God gives birth to hope. Every time a promise is made, hope is born. The word of God, by the promise of God, give birth to hope. Give birth to hope. Give birth to hope. So what happened to Abraham is that God had made a promise. I said to him, move from your father's house. Move from where you are. I am going to show you a place. His conscience understood the voice of God. His conscience understood that God was making a promise. And he got up and began to memorize it. He began to meditate on it. The Lord said, he will make a place for me. I should forget all my entitlement here. All the things I am entitled to here. I should just let go. I should leave the known. And follow the unknown. It was in his conscience. Now, when the word of God is spoken, hope is born in the conscience. When you recognize it and you hold on to it, what will not happen is that faith will begin to rise. Faith will begin to rise in your hope. Every hope give birth to faith. Like you are here. Eh? So what have I said? What does the word of God do? Give back to what? What does hope give back to? So faith is the key. It's a magnet. It's a supernatural magnet that give back to your hope. So when you can read the word of God, it is most likely you cannot live with real hope. The promises of God are real hope. The, the, the lies of the devils, like some people that are deceiving now. In just one month, you will ride big car. You will own your house. And they will foolishly say, even if it says five years, let me just enjoy. Five years. The Bible promised me that if I'll endure to the end, that I will be with Jesus 1,000 years. What is five years, 10 years to 1,000 years? Think about it. The Bible promised me that in this world I will experience a hundredfold. Hundredfold of what? Blessings. Hundredfold of what? And that I will not only enjoy blessings on this world, I will also sit with God in the world to come. So it shall be success here and success in the world to come. And I have no price to pay other than the price that I've been paid. That five years can demand that you bring your mother, can demand that you bring your wife, can demand that you lose your one eyes, can demand that you break your long leg. It can demand a, a very vital aspect of your life. But the blessings of eternal life and hundred percent dominion on the earth. Have been sealed in the blood of Jesus. Look on Wednesday. I will show you something. Are we here? Because you are going to see the possibilities of your next four years. A man that is living in hope doesn't see death. Oh, remember Simeon? Oh my God. Simeon was a father, old man. He was due to die. You remember the story? 
And one day, an angel of God came to him and said, Papa Simeon, don't think of death. Something is coming to Israel. You will not die until your eyes have seen it. And nobody knew about it. And someday, after a long time, Jesus was brought into the sanctuary for dedication. And they saw an old man walking and graciously walked to the altar and just carried, carried the baby and lifted up the baby. Say, oh Lord, now may your servant depart. He was the only servant in Israel that was not known to anybody. But was known by God. Come on over here. And God preserved him to make the, the, the consecration prayer on the Messiah. He was the only one that had to pray that day. Because we were not told that Zechariah prayed. Come on over here. He was the only one that the Bible recorded that he prayed. And after the prayer, I said, God, may, my, may I now depart in peace. For my eye has seen the salvation of Israel. I will see your dreams. Can I say something again? If you ever have a dream, your eyes shall see your dreams. It doesn't matter the noise that being made. All those things are noise. He that is in you is what? Don't mind the enemy. That is in the world. Mind the one whose name is life with power. Whose name is what? Zoe. Someone shout Zoe. Zoe. Shout it. Zoe. The meaning of the word Zoe is life with power. I call it powered life. Powered life. Someone shout powered life. Power. When you are powered with life. Nobody can snatch it. You cannot die anyhow. Somebody say, I am carrying a powered life. That's the way you should behave. Your confidence should be strong enough. There's some things about your calling and about your believing. You must know that there is God. Are we here? And you must be convinced. You must have a conviction in your conscience that truly there's God. By reason of what you can see and what you cannot see, God exists. And you have to believe that God that is existing is the creator of the heaven and the earth. Put everything on the earth. So he's, he's powerful enough to defend his name in my life. And you should be able to accept that you are a representative of God on the earth, and that you are all to represent heaven, and that the kingdom of heaven has come in Christ. Hmm? The kingdom of God has come where? Shout it. I'm not hearing you. That's why when we are taught how to pray in Genesis, in Matthew, he said, Thy kingdom come. So, when you understand the promise and you receive the hope that is born by the promise and then you connect the faith that is steered up by the hope you are ready for manifestation of the promise. God is not concerned about how the how of your expectations is with him. Are we here? Now the Bible decided to give us a, 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 a proof, a very strong testimony of Abraham's life. And that takes us back to that Romans chapter 4. That Romans chapter 4. Now, I don't know which of your hope has died. Do I have a witness here? Even when somebody you are depending on had disappointed you just know that god did not permit him to play that role come on are we here all i know in life is that there are some things that is working for your own good 
than it is normal to call it you disappointed me when man disappoints you god will appoint you come on are we here you must have a balance in your mind setting you must have a balancing because sometimes you allow your life to 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 be sold out and people will be saying if not me if not me if not me if not me may nobody take the place of god in your life are, are we here i told you in this house that abraham became the son of god before the son of god was born how do i know the bible describes him as abraham of the most high god so what is his son name most high god when you are born again your identity will change your dna will change your destination will change in psalm the bible say you have delivered my soul from shore so your soul was going to a destination and the bible said god delivered it out the bible says that abraham believed he said before him whom he believed even god who quickened the dead and call it those things that be not as though they were you know one of the secret key of possibilities is when you see the impossible all right you begin to speak possibilities on it so discover the impossibles list them out are we here and then come to Romans chapter 4 and begin to see yourself like abraham abraham saw his wife Abraham saw in his age. Abraham saw the white age. Abraham saw the difficulties around his family. He saw the paganism. And Abraham began to see what God said. And God has said to him, Live where you are. Your father's house, your kindred, and follow me to the place I have appointed for you. That's number one. I will make you. A nation. Are we here? What does it mean? Question means when you forsake your nation, I will make you a nation. I have come to discover who I am. My name is Patrick. Are we here? I came, I was born in Azabo Washoko. But no one around me have been a brand of me. Because I don't seem to resemble anything around us about Washoko. So who am I? Where did I come from? As about Washoko was created by God of heaven. Are we here? Who allowed me to be born there at the appropriate time? So who am I? I'm an ambassador of heaven. Sent to us about Washoko to deliver the mandate of God there. So you can see me as one born in Azababush. But every content and treasure of heaven is dwelling in me. And I am carrying them to deposit there. Come on, are we here? Listen. I was telling the people yesterday. Who is a psychologist? Psychologists were people who were philosophers. And the philosophers matured. And they qualified and migrated to become psychologists are we here and who are they they are great thinkers they began to think from their conscience to see things as god could see things so when they see a matter they start probing on the matter in their mind what's the cause of this matter what is the end of this matter can there be a change in this matter can there be a shift in this matter they are solution thinkers. The only difference is that they don't have the faith of Christ. They try to relate on the capacity of their memory. They listen, 
there is a memory switch in christ by the holy ghost there is a switch we we are transformed we we are translated and we are carried to heaven and we will put on the mind of christ I don't know what have died in your life. Before the end of convention 2023, your dead shall be revived. Your amen is a suspect. Shout it like you believe it. Your dead shall be quickened to lie. Everything dead in you, I see that come alive. I see your marriage come alive. I see your body come alive. I see your hair come alive. I see your healing come alive. I see your finances come alive. Your dead is coming alive. Jump on your feet and shout. My dead is coming alive. You must be ready to take your possibilities. I was, I've been sent by God. And I make bold to let you know that the, 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 the ticket, the visa to connect the possibilities of the impossibles have been released. So write down the things that are dead. Are we here? The expectation that appear dead. The next level that appear dead. Write them down. Write down some people that have left you alive by manipulation. Write their names down. They are returning back to your life. Are you here? Write down the helpers to your destiny that appear confused and they, they, they switch them up your life by witchcraft. They are coming back to your life. In fact, in the course of the convention, your phone shall be ringing. Many people you have not seen in a long time, they are returning to your life. Many customers are returning. Many people are returning. I hear a return. And I hear a sound. They are returning to your life. Is somebody see here? Let me hear you shout a living amen. amen. The word quicken in Greek means to resurrect. It means to put back to life. To put back to life. I don't know the conclusions about your future and the covens. I don't know the conclusions about yours. Your future in the covens. But I hear a sound of a word of God. Every conclusion satanically made against the will of God for your life, I reverse them in the name of Jesus. Don't conclude what God has not concluded. Are we here? The testimony of Abraham believed was the birth of Isaac. You might not need an Isaac. But there's something that you are going to give back to. And this year you will give back to it. I see the end of your poverty. I see the end of your struggles. I see the end of your us and down. Your poverty is coming to an end. Somebody, are you here? In the name of Jesus. Who told you that you are born to be poor? Who told you? The Bible says that God is interested in the prosperity of the righteous. So God is interested in the possibility of your prosperity. 3P. Possibility of your prosperity. Possibility of your prosperity. It's not going to be two months. You will hear testimonies in this house. You will see changes in this house. Are we here? That, and there's nothing here we are carrying to heaven. And I know that God is going to make somebody here to start enjoying life. Are we here? Okay, let me just manage like this. When I marry, 
you better marry to Jesus in this convention. When you marry to Jesus in this convention, it will determine, it will determine your remarriage. It may well be marriage before marriage. After Wednesday, in God's presence here in this house, the chair you are seeing, two of our daughters abroad pay for it. They pay for it. And they paid for it three months ago. And when the carpenter did the chair, he did it like one king, they are crowning. If you put the chair, you can't see anybody's head behind it. How do you tell a carpenter to bring 280,000? And do you call police for him? I said, no. After Wednesday service, I went to my office. Two things happened. A brother bought us a new microphone. That is Brother Shola. Can we celebrate him? That was a lot of money. Because the Lord said, we need a mic. All you need to do is to discover what you need. Say it to God and just wait. I went up. I remember I made a statement on that corner. And the Holy Spirit said, Call the carpenter to bring your chair. He's not saying, Where are you? He said, I mean, I say, Where is our chair? He said, I have sold only three. I said, How much? He told me. I said, Okay. Can you make it so so amount and give to us tomorrow morning? He said, Okay, Pastor. I don't want us to fight. I will bring it. I was at home. I saw a lot. I called Abraham. Come, let's go and bring the chair. And we went to the market and we bring it. We were not thinking about it. And something said to me this morning, do you know that what happened on Wednesday was debt recovery? I don't know where they are owing you. But by the same anointing and the same auction that arrested that man, everywhere they are owing you money, in seven days, it shall be paid. In seven days, it shall be paid. Your customers will be sleepless. Your, whole, your, your, your debtors will be sleepless. They will receive the help of God. In the name of Jesus. He quickened the dead. Lift up your hands. Everything you are doing since January. And you are doing it and it's like it's not working. And you are working it's like it's not paying. And you are struggling it's like there's no value. In seven days, there shall be a turnaround. In the name of Jesus. Mrs. Hodge, tell your husband. I remember a prophecy said to him here years back last year that prophecy is coming back his people need him but it's not yet time for him to go home hmm? God is still processing a lot of things before he will grant everything tell him that I said he shall return back are we here there's nothing that we not do from here there. When it is time, he will go. But let him return back here and stay here where God liberated him. And the prosperity shall be restored even before the convention is over. Come on, are we here? Even God who quickened the dead and called the thing that be not, I don't know who have been written off. And doctor, I said, there's no solution to your matter. And everything is closed. I said to you, every negative report on your heart, I reverse them in the name of Jesus. Your future is guaranteed. There's a future for your life. A future for your marriage. A future for your career. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear someone say, I am a believer. I am ready to dance a new dance. I am ready to dance a new dance. I am ready to dance a new dance. My God is ready for me. I call forth my miracles. Now I give you two minutes. 
begin to call out the possibilities of every expectation of your life. Call for life. I call life back. Life back. Life back to my life. Life back to my marriage. Life back to my blood. Life back to my bones. Life back to my office. Life back to everything that after me. I call for Lift up your voice and pray. La to bakato ro siga baraba. Lentoro shakada. Call back now. Life is returning at as God's servant has declared it. Can we lift up our voice and pray? Shata balakada. Can we lift up our voice? Come on, pray it better. Lord, the Bible says we call, we serve a God who called those things that be not as though they are in this season of possibility. Begin to call back. Ayana Kazazia Araya. There is hope. I am a no sia da baha. Araka palaba. In the top of the baha. I hear it. Oh, bring faith. Faith. Open your mouth and pray. I am da 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 da. Araka palaba. Lord, today, by the unction of God, I am. Somebody begin to pray. Rikabada, ayanama samana. Eso so so, eso so so, eso so so, eso so so. Ayakata lava. Bring my camera no more. Ayabala bala bala. Ayakata da da. Arada da. Esa bada bada. Ayada da. Ayamana mana mana. Eso so so. Can you pray? Ask the Lord. Bring back. Ayaba. I am honor, I am honor, I am honor, as a sasa, Hey, somebody pray, 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 as and Topalaba. Hey, Jesus, precious name, we pray. According to the scripture, it says. Abraham staggered not on the promise of God with unbelief. He stand on faith and hope and his dream come to pass. Is somebody hearing me? If only we can stand in this season of possibility. All our impossible will become possible. You are going to cry one prayer. You are going to say, the Bible says we serve a God. Mommy, who called those things that are, that are not as though they are? You are going to speak forth to those things. Lord, in this day, I call for my glory. I call for my promotion. I call for my marriage. I call for anything that seems impossible. There is faith, there is hope, and neko tomba mana, abana katoto, abaladia koa, ezamanonto, erata paladosa, ika da 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 da, ayaya, ayaya, call them for the, ayaya katolopo, isususuma, ezuka panya, akutebele, arada da da da, ayaya, somebody call it for the, 
I call forth my new business. I call forth my new glory. I call forth my fresh oil. I call forth a yeah, yeah. Somebody call it for the Ibi Bombo Square and don't make a tour. A baloska, a radadadada, a so so so, a so so so, a so so so, a ya, a ya, a ya, a radadadada, a radadada. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. If you look at the age of Sarah, eh? According to medical, it is not possible for her to conceive. What is impossible with man? That is what is a, a, a just child's play for God to do. I, I don't know what is that thing that you have been struggling with. I don't know what is that thing that you think that all hope is gone. Do you saw that I'm going to make it? I stand on top this exalted altar and I stand on the grace of our father. I speak to the impossible. I decree today, uh, let it be possible now. Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, your amen is not hearing me. Masama katua, edembe kato, ari katosha, arabano sata. Every impossibility under the sound of my voice, I decree, let it be possible now. I pray by the unction of God, every impossibility standing before you today, I command that impossible. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Come on, come on, in the name of Jesus. I, I close with this prayer. Mommy, it was impossible for a dead man whose body is rotting and stink to come out from a grave. But I man was illustrating it. He said the tube was down. And how can a man bound with grave clothes come up from that tube when he had to climb steps? It can only be the miracle power of God. I don't know what is dead. Sarah womb, it was dead according to science. But the dead womb become alive and the carry baby. What is so hard for God to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I, I want to challenge you. You are going to cry and call upon this God. Only fast. You see, Jacob said to that angel, Me, since I don't owe you so, I not go agree. Oh, I not go agree. You are not going to agree until you bless me. So there is an angel of possibility that is in this house. If only your eyes can see him. Hold him tight. Say today, let every impossibility in my life, let it become possible. Call forth those things now. Abina, Abono, Akana, Azaza, Arika, Azoso, Etano, Eradadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad